Here they are, first and 10 at the 36. No running backs this time. The blitz coming, and flag is down, but also is the quarterback. Thomas sacked for a loss of seven. Well, there was a protection failure right there with the outside linebacker coming off the edge. Need to get that corrected. I would imagine they declined this, Anthony. Alex Hoffman, Ellis, is one of the best football players on their team. You don't want to let him go. He does. This one's likely going to LaMichael James. There it is. LaMichael with a nice move. LaMichael can't get back to the line, though, and they lose yards. And they're going to go for it again on fourth down. Great job by Travis Long. Defensive end, he's coming down. LaMichael makes a couple people miss, but that's the key to a running back like LaMichael James. Everybody has to get to the ball carrier. It has to be a team effort. 11 guys need to get to number 20. So here's Jeff Toole and the Cougars as they start out. Again, last week they had a lot of success. They'll try to run it here on first down and have a lot of room over the middle on a first down 15-yard pickup for the Cougars. And Laguan Mitz with the carry. And all three of those, I think. Here's Toole to throw. Pressure coming. Gets away, now he's got some room to run and dives out of bounds for the first down. That was a great job by Tool. Feeling the pressure, didn't panic. Knew where the first down marker was and got the first down. So nice job again. The pressure, linebackers, Coach Nick Aliotti, D coordinator for Oregon, sent some the linebackers, but Tool escaped and picked up the A little pressure again. Tool throws it. Caught for a first down at the 46-yard line into Oregon territory. Again, that was a nice job by Tool, standing in the in the pocket, feeling the pressure. Stepped up, threw a rifle shot. Here's second down and eight. Caught, first down. 33-yard line. Tool's on fire now. I mean, he's feeling the rhythm. The ball was right on the money. The offensive line's doing a great job providing protection. He was driving. They survived the fumble that they recovered themselves. They used to throw again, and this one caught for an eight, making a seven-yard pickup. Luke Harris was coming on this football, and that's, again, another nice throw out and away from the defender. To the 10, 5, touchdown Cougars. And a flag comes in late. I think it's for a horse collar. That was a great job by Montgomery. He hit that hole so fast. And that's what happens when you're running back by hitting the hole so fast and going north and south. He didn't end up going east and west, go towards the end zone. Was in the second level so quick that the DBs didn't have a chance to make the tackle. John Ekstrom and James Waddell at the cooler along with Jonas Kungis. And at the cooler tonight, hope you all have a good time there at the cooler. Watching today's Oregon football game against the Cougars. Kenyon Barner just gets blasted, fumbles the ball. The Cougars pick it up and have the ball at the 10-yard line. And Barner's still down. That was a collision. And that's how you get the fans fired up. And the Cougars football team fired up with hits like that. It's not a good start for the Ducks. Penalties and turnovers, and boy, let's hope that Kenyon is okay. And I don't think Kenyon even saw the Cougar that came down that took a shot right to the head, right across the jaw area, the face mask. He's still down. That's not good the way they're looking at him right now. Tell you what, Anthony, Oregon better wake up here in a hurry with the excitement and enthusiasm in the stadium. I mean, when your fellow teammate gets blasted like this, it wakes you up as well. Part of what happened is Marvin Johnson and trying to block. Kenyon's helmet, his face mask, looked like a helmet right to the face mask. Turned his, he turned his helmet almost backwards.
So there could be a I've seen guys have a broken jaw because of that. We have some people down there trying to get any information possible to assure you that Kenyon's going to be okay. Can't quite tell. Getting up now. And they're going to help him up onto his own feet, so that's great news. With his dad and his mom. Part of what made that hit so big, Anthony, was the acceleration off the block. So it wasn't just a man running at his top speed. It was that plus something. Yeah, yeah. And the very good news that he was able to stand up on his own power there with uh, onto his feet, move his limbs. There's LaMichael. Again, these kids are... You they're know, close. They're very 19 close. years old. Very close family. Let's not forget that part. They're 19. 18 and 19-year-old sophomore. They do everything together on the field and off the field. I, I remember playing with guys and Derek Lavelle and, you know, Bill Musgrave, all those guys. You're, you're close. You build a, a bond. Like Cougars now with a chance to take the lead. They'll run it on first down and to the one-yard line. They'll run it again. And over the line or not, the ball is loose. It's a touchdown. Touchdown for Lugwan Mitz. And the Cougars lead the number three Oregon Ducks here in the first quarter. Well, you look on paper and you think, hey, Ducks are the, are the better football team, but this is why you play the game. You got to come out and you got to play. You got to execute. They're going to review it, it looks like. They're going to review that. It is under review. Experience, they're young guys. Review. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. The other part, Anthony, is the belief that it gives you. Teams have had success yeah. putting together a long drive. Here's where Michael James taken down for a loss. And they're just playing a fired up football team right now. They're so excited. And Oregon struggling against it. Well, it starts up front for Washington State. And we talked about in the pregame that the D tackles for Washington State need to make a stand. They have to close up those holes a little bit. They did that on the last play. Turner side of the ball when they run the football. See if they keep doing that again. But Deion Jordan, number 96, is in the game for Turner now. So let's see if that changes anything. Two changes the play. Now he's going to look and throw back over the middle. Caught. That's playing that soft zone on the far side of the field. So it's going to be Nate Costa next time out. And this is a completion across the 30. Tool having some success to the line. Big hole up the middle. Session because of the Harris putt return. So we'll see if Thomas is going to come in or if it's going to be Nate Costa, but they'll have to wait bothering him. They'll throw it to the outside. A lot of blockers out there. And there was a big hit on the outside by Javis Lewis, but another Cougar first down at the Oregon 48. Well, the Cougars were outmatched. Well, the Ducks were outmatched. They had three receivers out there right away. Receivers are cut blocking, and that is a hit by Javis Lewis. Marquise eight in the game. Last year, Washington State had four in the entire game when they played in Eugene. Tool having to get away now, looking down the field, throws it deep. He's got a man out there, and it is incomplete. Boy, he threw that a long ways off his back foot, didn't he? he? Sure did. He has a strong arm. He's a big guy, about 6'3", and did a nice job of spinning out of that tackle. You hope that the offensive line can hold up and give Tool time to find that open receiver. Ducks with three down line, and now they'll bring Eddie Pleasant from the outside. He tries to get around the corner, thrown down the middle, and caught by Wilson at the 23. And we talked about Wilson earlier that when the ball is thrown his way, he's going to catch it. 
Now this is a great catch by Wilson. Diving. Getting his hands underneath the ball. Possible fake. Here's a snap. It's low. Grosser's kick is on the way. And it is good. 50-yarder. And the lead. That was the last guy there, too. That was it. Weird set of circumstances. Cougars go out to Marquise, and Thomas Jackson pulls him over his shoulder for the first down. And the Cougars. Second down and five. And they'll run it. And have a first down and more. Juan Mitz. Football right now because Mitz is doing a great job of picking up those extra yards. Plus, he's a bigger back, 230 pounds. He's not. You count the deep dropping linebackers. Here comes Eddie Pleasant from the outside. Complete. And a first down. Okay. Than they were last year with the conventional offense. I think everybody's getting to the spread. The pressure coming. Wide open is down the 10 yard line. Solomon has it inside the 10, and they'll have a first and goal. Wilson on the far side. Tool looking towards him. Going to throw it to him. Caught. Touchdown, Cougars. Not ready to go away just yet. That was a great throw and catch by Jeff Tool. It's a great catch right here, knowing you're about to get hit. Blackledge holds on. Showing no fear. One yards. Yeah, that's on 19 carries, too, Anthony. He's been teaming into the game averaging eight yards a carry, and today it's just about three. And here goes LaMichael. Can he get the corner? Right on cue, Anthony. LaMichael has to cut it back. He fumbles the football, and Washington State has it. A great run for LaMichael James, but it ends up a, a disaster. Hits the corner, great blocking downfield. Now there's a foot race. Now they have an angle on him on this time. As soon as he cuts back, it's a nice job. That was Myron Beck. Stopped one drive. They are moving the football. Looking for a home run ball, maybe. Throws it over the middle. And almost intercepted and almost caught by Marquise Wilson, but incomplete. Well, if Marquise Wilson would have caught that football, he'd still be going right now. Place Casey Matthews had a chance to intercept that ball, at least to knock it down. He just missed it. Good throw. Right on the money. I think uh, Marquise Wilson lost his concentration when Ducks show a blitz, so Tool changes the play. He's going for the home run ball. And it's caught at the 13-yard line on a ball that could not have been thrown any better. The ball came down in Carstetter's hands. I mean, it's just unbelievable. That was a great throw by Jeff Toole. I mean, right on the money. Outside and away from the defender. Scott Grady was in coverage. A little separation right there, right at the end. Darren Thomas out. There's a throw. Intercepted by Matthews. Matthews goes down at the nine-yard line. They finally get the turnover. It well, looked like Washington State was going back to that old play of the, the two slants, double slants, trying to get inside. Jeff Toole didn't see Casey Matthews. It's a great job by Casey Matthews sitting back, reading the quarterback's eyes.